was a first round TKO. Um, was that the way you thought the fight would go? Uh, definitely. That was my game plan going in. You know, I went into the show, I'm like, wrestling is my number one love. It's what I've always done. I did it in high school. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to take her down when I can. And I'm going to get the win, whether it's a TKO or submission or anything. And so, you know, she got some good punches off and I'm like, okay, yeah, no, let's go for that takedown now. <laughs> and Eddie's like, do the takedown, do the takedown. I'm like, okay. I did this. you know that she was so, uh, uh one dimensional? Because once you took her down, mm -hmm. it, it was almost over. I, no, not really. I heard that she was really strong and that she was tough. And so um, I just apparently have more Amazing strength than I Amazing <laughs> pressure. <laughs> well. Shall we say. Yeah, what can I say? What? Um, I just a fat kid that I like sitting on people and punching them. And so that's what I do. And well, that's what I do. off. <laughs> I'll take <laughs> it. Funny description. You know, um, Michael mentioned the fact that you were coming off of a, 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 a few losses. So did that add to the pressure you felt fighting in the house? Because people always talk about it feeling very mm. different fighting in there. So what did it feel like for you? Uh, it was actually really great. I've had a lot of stresses, personal life and stuff going into my last few fights and it really got into my head. So to be completely separated from that and to be in the house not having to worry about anything but fighting and training, I, I felt calm and I felt happy going into the cage and it was a feeling that I haven't had in a while and, and it was great. <laughs> so last season we saw the teams, they got along really well. Uh, what about this season though? What, did a rivalry uh, start and if so, how long did it take? Um... No, actually, everyone pretty much got along really well, which is amazing. You get 16 females together, you yeah. think somebody's going to get I'm assuming crazy. the place was very clean, though. <laughs> yes. 16 no, women stop, in there, stop. vacuuming on a daily basis. Everyone polishing. was in the kitchen, <laughs> and things were The food was amazing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Listen, folks, another <laughs> unique element um, about your fight, obviously, is the fact that uh, Kareen did not speak English. Mm. So mm. that was problematic for the coaching. We want to yeah. take a look at this clip for, of uh, Justin. Take, take a look. Karina got picked to fight today, so, you know, I was just trying to use the translator. I have a hard time communicating with her. So nobody can stand with you. If you can stop a takedown, then you can win it. Thank you. All right, obviously that can be a tough situation. Did you feel during the fight that you had an advantage? Because basically Eddie could yell anything out. She probably wouldn't necessarily no. understand the coaching. And you probably got better coaching because obviously you and Eddie could communicate. I, I could see a little bit of advantage as far as that goes since we were able to do that. And obviously she couldn't understand what my coaches were saying. But in her corner, she had her translator that was there for, for the time mm. that we were in the house. And so, you know... We, I didn't even get much time to work with Eddie before. It, I was the second fight, so pretty right off the bat. And so I, maybe there could have been a little bit, but I don't know if it made that much of a difference. Are you happy to be the second fight? I mean, you know, it's interesting the way this tournament plays out. You could have the advantage of fighting early, but then also there is also the advantage of being there for a little while, yeah, getting sure. a feel, getting a lay of the land before you actually have to go and throw down. I, I think it actually was nicer to fight towards the beginning because I had so many nerves. It, well, you get it out of the way. Exactly. Yeah. Because it's the exactly. anticipation when you're right. on there that, that sometime you're going to have to fight. And now you've fought, mm -hmm. and then you have a while until you fight again. Exactly. Right? Yeah. It was, I, I probably would have liked a little bit more time with Eddie and the coaches before I got into the fight. But I'm glad that it worked out the way that it did because um, I get a little bit of a stress ball in so <laughs> to get in there and to get the first one over with and to get that win felt great yeah mike you know it's funny because we were talking about kareen and the situation with justin but you kind of had a similar situation back on your season with matt hamill right so how did that work out yeah for no, you? no 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 so well <laughs> of course you had the uh sorry not you uh, kareen had the translator <laughs> yeah and, and matt hamill he was kind of my nemesis if, <laughs> if you will on the show he didn't have a translator but he had a guy uh doing sign language the whole time because what would happen we'd be training and uh, of, of course he's deaf, so he can't hear the bell. And we'd stop training, and then we'd all stop. I put my guard down, and bang, <laughs> he punched me in the face. We're like, whoa, whoa, whoa! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> right. Stop! But of course, you know, didn't couldn't hear. <laughs> but now, did you? Apparently, couldn't hear. Or, or he just wanted to get he an, just extra punch an extra punch <laughs> What's up, Matt? How you doing? But, you know, did you feel that that was, um, you could notice that in the show, right? So she mentioned mm -hmm. the fact that everybody else is having fun and she couldn't really understand mm. them. How did you feel? Because I, part of me thinks, well, now I have an advantage because my opponent and anybody's future opponent here um, is isolated and maybe they're emotionally fragile. But at the same time, you know, you're there for the spirit of the, of, of the show and maybe you wanted to befriend her. I didn't know how you felt about that. 
I'm, I don't ever hold any ill will against yeah. anyone that I'm fighting. And so I actually tried to have some conversations as much as I could. And I'm just kind of awkward with anyone. So it was just really weird encounters that we had. But, you know, I wanted her to be included. I wanted everyone to be included. Yeah, but um, <laughs> translator, no translator. You're there for yourself, right? Oh, yeah, 100%. You just want to win. Right. That is win. the ultimate objective. That's the, exactly. That's, that's the number one. And so, you know, Roxanne was there to help her out, and she kept her included. Mm. And so I don't think it really became an issue or anything. But, yeah, number one, I was there for me. <laughs> well, I want to talk to you about the brackets because obviously on this season there were seeds and there was bracketing. Um, you're going to be facing the winner of uh, Maya and Sajara in the uh, uh, quarterfinals. But do you think you were seeded correctly? You're number four. Um, Roxanne Modafferi is number one. I'm just curious what you thought of this. Um, I could see a case for having Roxanne number one. I was a little bit surprised. I thought Barb would have been number one. A lot one. of people do. Invicta yeah. champion. She was the inaugural <laughs> champion over there. Exactly. And I'm yeah. not just saying that because I, I love that human. <laughs> but um, she, I would have figured that. But I could see a case for Roxanne. You know, she just fought for the title in Invicta. She's, she's tough. I, she holds a win over me. Yeah. And what about Kareen, <laughs> CD13? What do you think about that? You know, I didn't know too much about her beforehand. And so yeah. I that was kinda one where sense. I was just kind of like, all right, right, well, 13, that works. Yeah. Yeah. There were uh, some couple other surprises in there that I, I didn't expect, but I think that when Barb not being number one was the biggest one. Well, as we've seen anyway, the, n the number doesn't really matter. Sometimes no. No. <laughs> the, the lower-ranked seeds uh, actually can do quite well.